Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial. Today we are building this cable car that you see right behind me. Again, like many of the vehicles here, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. So here are the materials that you are going to need today and let's get right in to the build. Also for this build today, you are going to need a 4x13 plot to build this on. The signs and the banners on the sides do actually make it 5 by 16. They add an extra block to each side, but the cable car itself is 4 by 13. Begin with your black concrete. We are going to place two black concrete right next to each other, and we are going to leave a one block cap, and we are going to do that once again, then we are going to leave a five block gap, one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, two more black concrete, one block gap, and two more black concrete. So it should look like this. Now we are going to place a row of smooth stone slabs, four going across on either end, just like this. And then we will connect these to the inside set of wheels, just like that. And we can fill in in between the black concrete as well. Same thing on this side. And then in between these stone slabs, we are going to place warped slabs on the outsides. And smooth stone slabs on the inside. So it should look like this from above. I will pause here for just a moment. Next, take out your red nether brick walls, and on the ends, we are going to place four going across on either side, build the corners up by two more. So we should have three block tall corners with our red nether brick walls. And then we are going to place a row of slabs going across the top, extend that to the inside by one. Same thing on this side. This cable car is pretty much completely symmetrical Almost exactly, there's a little spot right here in the middle that isn't, but it's almost perfectly symmetrical. Connect the edges of these slabs going across, and in the middle of these slabs we are going to fill that all in with our glass blocks. So it should look like this, it's already starting to take shape. Next we are going to be building with our red nether brick blocks and the stairs. This doesn't really matter all that much, but one of these will be stairs on top of the warped slabs with the corners turned like this, and the other will be a row of blocks because we are going to have a row of spruce stairs on the inside for the seats, and then these are seats right there. So one side is blocks, one side is stairs, do that however you would like. And then on the corners here, we are going to do walls once again. In between all of these walls, we are going to fill in with our glass panes. The walls should connect to the glass to close off that border. That is why we are using walls and not fences. If fences did connect, I would have liked to use a mangrove plank for this. It has a little bit of a more muted tone to it, not nearly as vibrant, but they don't have walls for wood, so we are going with red nether brick. And that actually is going to do it for this first set of materials, so let's go ahead and grab our next set. And we should be able to fit all of the rest of our materials in our hot bar now. Let's start with our spruce stairs. We are going to place two on the inside, right next to the walls on the edge, if I can get inside of here, on either side. So we are going to have this bench right here, two stairs facing out on each side. Same thing over here, just like that. On the black concrete right here, let's go ahead and place some gray carpet. And I did just remember we will need our glass panes one more time. And then coming back to these blocks right here, the nether brick blocks, we are going to place a row of five spruce stairs going across just like this. And then on the ends, we are actually going to turn our glass panes in by one block. Don't do it twice, otherwise they'll connect all the way across and you won't be able to get in. But just turn that going in by one block. And then we are going to place our spruce fences on this middle stone slab right here, three blocks tall. 
same thing right there. And on this side as well, that middle stone slab on each side where you can get on and off, that will be a spruce fence. On the inside right here, we are going to place another gray carpet, leave a one block gap, gray carpet, one block gap, gray carpet. On these open slabs here, three more fence on each one. So those are the rails that you can grab and hold if all of these seats are occupied. So that is pretty much it as far as the inside goes. So now it's time to add a little bit of detailing and get the rest of the roof put on, which we can actually do right now. Spruce trap doors placed on those glass blocks up top. That should look like this. And we are going to surround the glass in the trap doors with a row of brown carpet going all the way around on all sides including those corners and that should look like this take your light gray banners place a row of four on those stone slabs on the front and on the back and then we are going to place a row of warped signs going all the way across the bottom right here on either side. And to finish things off, this step is optional, but if you would like to place a row of three birch signs going across underneath the side windows right there, you can certainly do that. You can add your own messages, kind of for the ad spots, those posters, if you will. So now I just want to show everyone how to do a track for this real quick. I mean, not really a track, but sort of. So for that, we are going to need some polished deep slate stairs. Yes, polished deep slate stairs. Had to think about that for a sec. And then stone blocks as well. On the outer two blocks of this trolley, we are going to place stone just like this. And then on the inner two blocks, we are going to place stairs from the outside. So that is going to create this one block wide track, but it works for the even blocks that we have. So it kind of fits perfectly for this little cable car. You can extend that for as far as you want. You can build as many of these cars as you would like. You could even modify it to extend this back part. If I had the blocks here, we could extend this back part a little bit more and have the back of it right here and then just shorten it. I did see a couple of those versions when I was looking up the design for this cable car. But that is where we are going to leave it for this tutorial. Of course, I will step over to this one in front of all of these bay style houses, all of the colored houses that we have lined up in a row, and we will end the video right here. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy enough to follow along, and I hope that you can find a spot for this build in your city or town or whatever it is you are building. Maybe you turn it into a survival base or something. I don't know. Get creative with it. But again, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all of that being said, comment, like, subscribe. Remember to stay optimistic and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.